I'm Dr. Alan Epstein, and this is how Safnello works. Systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE, is a complex disease that is heterogeneous in nature and affects a diverse patient population. Organ system involvement can range from musculoskeletal to cutaneous, cardiovascular, renal, or gastrointestinal, and can affect multiple organs simultaneously. The challenging nature of SLE is reflected in its broad range of disease impact, which varies from patient to patient. SLE is a complex disease with heterogeneous clinical manifestations in diverse patient populations. SLE presents with a wide spectrum of constitutional and organ-specific clinical symptoms. There is a higher prevalence in Black, Hispanic, and Asian populations. Patients are commonly put on steroids for disease management. In two longitudinal observational cohort studies of patients with SLE, approximately 70% were on an average steroid dose of 18 to 20 milligrams per day prior to study entry. Importantly, increased disease activity and persistent use of steroids in doses of at least 7.5 milligrams per day can lead to irreversible organ damage. While the heterogeneity of SLE is well known, our scientific understanding of its etiology is evolving. Although SLE was previously seen as a primarily B-cell driven disease, type 1 interferon, or IFN1, plays a central role in its pathophysiology and acts early in its immune dysregulation. In SLE, IFN1 causes dysregulation of both the innate and adaptive immune systems. Plasmacytoid dendritic cells, or PDCs, produce IFN1, which impacts most cells of the innate immune system, such as the natural killer cells, myeloid dendritic cells, and monocytes, leading to production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. It can also impact the adaptive immune system, exerting effects on T cells and B cells, leading to increased autoantibody and immune complex formation and pro-inflammatory cytokine production, all of which contribute to tissue inflammation and injury. All IFN1 subtypes bind to the interferon alpha receptor, or IFNAR, which is found on many cells of both the innate and adaptive immune systems. Importantly, the ongoing production of IFN1 and its binding to the IFNAR on cells of the innate and adaptive immune systems plays a central role leading to the overexpression of IFN1 regulated genes. Type 1 interferon is a common factor in SLE disease pathophysiology. In fact, up to 80% of adult patients with moderate to severe SLE have an elevated type 1 interferon gene signature. The elevated gene signature can be associated with increased disease activity and severity. Blocking the IFN1 receptor can modify immune dysregulation and may mitigate further tissue damage in SLE. Safnello, or anifrolumab, injection for intravenous use is a first-in-class interferon-1 signaling inhibitor for SLE. Safnello is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with moderate to severe SLE who are on standard therapy. Safnello is not recommended for patients with severe active lupus nephritis or severe active central nervous system lupus. Please watch the complete video for important safety information. Safnello is a monoclonal antibody that binds to IFNAR1 with high specificity and affinity. The binding inhibits IFN1 signaling thereby blocking the biologic activity of type 1 IFNs. Safnello also induces internalization of IFNAR1, thereby reducing the levels of the cell surface IFNAR1 available for receptor assembly. Safnello blocks downstream inflammatory and immunological processes, as well as blocks plasma cell differentiation and normalizes peripheral T cell subsets. By blocking the biologic activity of IFN1, a central mediator across both the innate and adaptive immune systems, Safnello inhibits IFN responsive gene expression as well as downstream inflammatory and immunological processes, thereby playing an important role in the pathogenesis of SLE. 
Next, let's review the important safety information about Safnello. Important safety information. Contraindication. Safnello is contraindicated in patients with a known history of anaphylaxis. Warnings and precautions. Serious infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections have occurred in patients receiving immunosuppressive agents, including Safnello. Safnello increases the risk of respiratory infections and herpes zoster. Use caution in patients with severe or chronic infections. Avoid initiating treatment during an active infection and consider interrupting therapy in patients who develop a new infection during treatment. Hypersensitivity reaction, including anaphylaxis. Serious hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis, have been reported following Safnello administration. Events of angioedema have also been reported. Other hypersensitivity reactions and infusion-related reactions have occurred following administration of Safnello. Safnello should be administered by healthcare providers prepared to manage hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis and infusion-related reactions, if they occur. Immediately interrupt administration and initiate appropriate therapy if a serious infusion-related or hypersensitivity reaction, for example, anaphylaxis, occurs. Malignancy. There is an increased risk of malignancies with the use of immunosuppressants. The impact of Safnello on the potential development of malignancies is not known. Immunization. Avoid the use of live or live attenuated vaccines in patients treated with Safnello. Use with biologic therapies. Safnello is not recommended for use in combination with other biologic therapies, including B-cell targeted therapies. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, incidence greater than or equal to 5%, are nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory tract infections, bronchitis, infusion-related reactions, herpes zoster, and cough. In the controlled clinical trials, the incidence of infusion-related reactions was 9.4% in patients while on treatment with Safnello and 7.1% in patients on placebo. Infusion-related reactions were mild to moderate in intensity. The most common symptoms were headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and dizziness. Use in specific populations. Pregnancy. A pregnancy exposure registry monitors pregnancy outcomes in women exposed to Safnello during pregnancy. For more information about the registry or to report a pregnancy while on Safnello, contact AstraZeneca at 1-877-693-9268. There are insufficient data on the use of Safnello in pregnant women to establish whether there is drug-associated risk for major birth defects or miscarriage. Advise female patients to inform their healthcare provider if they intend to become pregnant during therapy, suspect they are pregnant, or become pregnant while receiving Safnello. Lactation. No data are available regarding the presence of Safnello in human milk, the effects on the breastfed child, or the effects on milk production. Pediatric use. The safety and efficacy of Safnello in pediatric patients less than 18 years of age has not been established. Please see full prescribing information, including patient information, at www.safnello.com forward slash HCP.